Oh, come on, Liam. Don't get all moody. You know, Bill and I were very happy together. We're not together yet, Steffi. Well, we will be soon enough. Uh -huh. and, and, and that's where you said he went? I mean, he's going to end the marriage with Katie? Yep, he said that after he left here. He was going to go see Katie. Liam, your father deserves a good life. Yeah, I know. I mean, nobody wants that for him more than I do. But he doesn't have that. Not as much as he should or could. I can make him happy. Okay, all right, Steffi. I'll... I get that you love him. I really do. And I also understand that, that he's attracted to you. I mean, what guy wouldn't be? But isn't this a little fast? I mean, it feels fast. Uh, it's not fast. We've been attracted to each other for a long time now. Yeah, okay, but you've kept it in check until now. So why? Because he was there for me. He was there for me when my father walked out on us. Okay, right there. That. Doesn't that tell you something, Steffi? I mean, you, you felt rejected. You were vulnerable. No, Liam. That says Bill was there for me when everybody else wasn't. My dad walked out on me. My, my grandmother, she betrayed me. He knew I was in pain and he did something about it. And that's the kind of man I want to be with for the rest of my life. And I'm going to. And yeah, and then he told me he loved me. But that wasn't the first time. You know, he told me he loved me on the plane when we were searching for Thomas. See, it isn't some dirty, quick affair. It's a lot more than that. All right. As long as you know what you're doing. I could say the same about you and your girlfriend. You know that? Really? You're going to compare you and my dad to me and Hope? Why not? You guys have faced some big challenges, okay? Um, let me see. Oh, right. Hope's not married. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. She just likes to string her little boys along with her innocent routine. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's not even a routine. Oh, my God. Oh, she's still a virgin, isn't she? Oh, my God. Come on. She wants to wait, okay? Okay, it's, I, I think you're either very frustrated or you're very patient, and I'm gonna say you're both. Okay, all right. <laughs> I'm willing to wait. How's that? Well, it's rare. Yeah, it's super rare. It's like endangered species rare. I think I need to be protected. What, sex isn't everything? Is that your mantra now? Hey, believe me, if, if that were all I wanted, awesome. There's plenty of beautiful women at my work, I just... Happen to want more. <laughs> Hope. You know, let me tell you something. You guys have more mm -hmm. in common than you think. You're both smart, both beautiful, talented, incredibly strong-willed, and something else. Mm -hmm. You have a sweetness about you. And if you tell Hope I said that, I'm going <laughs> to freaking kill you. I know, okay, she's definitely not like her mom. And there is a sweetness there. I can attest to that. Hey, I wonder what's going on with, um, with Bill and Katie. I don't know. But she loves him, Steffi, and she trusts him. I mean, this is going to hit her really hard. Uh, what are you doing? I'm going to call your dad. Steffi, don't do that. No, he probably already told her by now. I don't think this is going to be as easy as you're assuming it is. I know it's not going to be easy, okay? But this is what he wants. Yeah, but Katie doesn't know that, Steffi. That's the whole point. She's totally unprepared for this. I oh. mean, she really thinks that their marriage is better than it's ever been, especially since that. they renewed their vows. Okay, but she thinks they're close, but they're not. Look, she's walked out on him twice now, twice. You do not do that to your husband. That's because she was proving a point. You don't prove a point like that. Bill's father, he abandoned him, and I know what that feels like. Katie should know what that feels like because her dad did the same thing. If you're trying to get through to somebody, you don't walk out on them. You're definitely going to lose somebody's trust. You really do know my dad. Yeah, I do. You know, he's never going to have to question my loyalty. I'm always going to be there for him. And I'm never, ever going to walk out on him. God, I wish you guys had hooked up before you ever met Katie. Why? Because you saved us all a whole lot of grief. Wait, well, you don't think he's going to go through with it? No, I know he's going to go through with it. I mean, I know how he feels about you. Why? What did he say? Yeah, right, dude. That's a private conversation between his son and his oh, father. Oh, come on! He said he loved me, didn't he? 
maybe. I'm totally gonna be your stepmom. Oh, today. good God, woman! <laughs> ah. Look, ugh. It doesn't matter, okay? I know how Bill feels about me. You know, we we have something, and he doesn't have that with Katie. He really thought he could count on her, and he was wrong. And I really thought I could count on my dad and my grandma, and yeah, I was wrong. But you know, that night I was hurt, and he called me. He just knew. We're, in a weird way, we are so much alike. And now we found each other, and we're never ever gonna let that go. You know, by the end of today, his marriage with Katie will be over, and he's gonna start his life with me. Look, I know you feel bad about Katie, okay? Yeah, but it's more than that. Well, you got to think about your dad. You know what he wants, what he needs. It's not Katie. Steffi, it's you I'm worried about. Okay, you don't need to be. Okay, you. You know you're so damn cocky. I really hope you're right for your sake. Okay, you know what? I wasn't a big believer in fate, at all. But Bill came into my life and. He brought something in my life, and I brought something in his, and I really feel that we're meant to be together. Okay. Just don't want to see you get hurt. That's sweet, but Bill's not gonna hurt me. No, not intentionally, Steffi. That's the point. That's what I'm saying. I mean, you should have seen him at the party Katie threw for him. He was torn. He was genuinely torn. Of course, he's gonna be torn. He doesn't want to hurt Katie. You know, I'm sure he's gonna be sensitive and gentle about this. Uh, my dad, really. Yeah, I know he's he seems tough on the outside, but he really does have a big heart. He's gonna deal with Katie, and he's gonna make her understand. Okay, but Steffi, she's a Logan. I mean, Logan women circle the wagon at times like this. So I should be worried about Donna and I, Brooke. No, I'm. <laughs> I'm saying you should be prepared for anything. I mean, Katie just renewed her marriage vows. This is coming straight out of the blue for her. I don't even want to think about how she's going to react. But if I were you, I'd be prepared for Brooke and Donna on your doorstep. Yeah, I've been dealing with the Logans for a while now, so I'm not scared of them. Katie's going to be upset. Her sisters are going to be upset. But eventually, we will get over it, and we'll all move on with our lives. 